Well, can you bring me the pliers, please? I don't want to get my jeans wet. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> I don't want to get my jeans wet. <laughs> yeah, that's a good excuse. My name is Cyril Shoke, and I travel the world chasing monster fish. And right now, I'm in Florida, on the hunt for a predator with a bad reputation. Nicknamed the Tiger of the Seas, the Barracuda is one of the most aggressive creatures in the oceans. Oh. Oh. The Barracuda cut that bait in half. And the species I'm looking for is said to reach over 100 pounds, the Great Barracuda. I've seen huge Barracudas in the South Pacific. You want to see a big Barracuda? And I've caught them in Africa and in Cuba. That's what we're talking about, guys. So I've already had a taste of how explosive they can be. But I've never worried about barracudas before, until I heard some disturbing stories. I mean, he's gonna die on the, the ride in. One bite, let me see that I'm missing the finger. And that cuda came in on me real quick and hit me in the face. In the face. But finding a huge barracuda will not be easy. They're known for their speed and their massive sharp teeth. Look at the teeth on that fish. They can even cut through metal. Cut me right off. And to make things worse, barracudas lurk in waters where other predators also hunt, like sharks. Careful, man. Honestly, I was never afraid of barracuda before. I never even asked myself the question if they were dangerous or not. You know, I, I dove so many times with them. I swam with them and everything. But now, the more stories I hear about attacks on, from barracuda, the more freaked out I am, to be honest. <laughs> Lately, I've been hearing more and more stories of gruesome barracuda attacks. But the one that really struck me is the story of Parker, a young man that was savagely bitten by one. So I'm on my way to meet Parker and his dad to find out more about what happened. Cyril, how you doing? I'm pretty good, pretty nice good. To, nice nice, to, meet nice you. to meet you. Nice you to must meet be Parker. You. Yes, sir. <laughs> so what happened that day, guys? Just a regular day of fishing, we thought, you know. Just offshore, fishing 18 miles out. He spotted the barracuda. You saw that it was a big barracuda oh, yeah. around the boat. So I try a wire leader, threw it out there. And... As soon as he felt the tension on his, on his lip, he flew up into the in the air and landed right on the boat, split, right on you. Split second, you blinked and you would have missed it. How did he heal up? Is it okay now? Yeah, it healed up good. You want to see it? The, the scar? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, so he got you here and there on the arm. So basically, he came right with an open mouth like this. Wow. Parker is lucky in a way because seeing the, how deep his wounds were, imagine how the fish hit him in the in the neck. That would have been a different story. Just the impact and the blood, and I knew it had to be really bad. So in my head, I mean, if I don't get him back, I mean, he's going to die on the ride in. And uh, it was really scary. I don't think that Barracuda ever wanted to attack Parker. What happened, I believe, is that when his dad set the hook on, on the Barracuda, he must have tried to escape. You know, it was a reflex for the fish to escape, to take off like a torpedo, and actually came out of the water, went airborne, and, and hit. Parker in the shoulder, in the, in the arm. But I think Parker was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. You're lucky you're here. Yeah. You're lucky your dad uh, yeah. did all the things that he had to do, right? <laughs> and drove you back to, uh, to shore pretty fast. Yeah. How do you feel about catching another Barracuda? Have you caught a Barracuda since then? After a brutal bite like that, I would also think twice about getting too close to a Barracuda again. What happened to Parker was a freak accident, but it still shows how powerful and dangerous barracudas can be. All right, let's go catch a barracuda. Mm. I think if there's a barracuda around, he'll see me arrive from a mile away. I'm on my way to fish some flats next to the mangroves. Out there, I can chase barracudas from my kayak or by wading in the water. Young barracudas grow in the shelter of the mangroves. And the nearby flats are also patrolled by some big ones on the hunt. <sighs> Pretty tough fishing with that life jacket. I think I'll be better off waiting and casting from the shore. Oh, stingray. I almost stepped on a stingray. I didn't see it, but luckily, it saw me and took off. 
you really don't want to step on a stingray. They have a super sharp barb on the tail that packs a toxic venom. This lure really looks weird, but I'm telling you, it catches fish. It's just that I haven't been able to prove it to you yet, but it, it will, it will catch a fish. I move slowly, being careful not to step on a stingray. It's not very deep around here, but it's really hard to spot Barracuda against the grassy bottom. This one over there. It's a small Barracuda, but it still chases my lure. But then, it stops. I spot another one. It goes after my lure, but it doesn't take it. Here we go, a hit. Finally, a real bite. Fish on. But this one is far from the monster I'm looking for. And anyways, it gets off. The barracuda, they tend to react to prey that are moving super fast. So what you want to do with that lure is once you cast it, once it hits the water, you want to retrieve it as fast as possible so that the lure swims right underneath the surface. And let me tell you, when they want it, they'll chase it all the way to you. So that, that's why it can be pretty tricky, actually, pretty dangerous, because if you have a big barracuda that comes and nails it right in your legs, you gotta be careful. Barracudas are not the only predators hunting on these flats. There's sharks around. And now, there's even a stingray lurking right behind me. I'm starting to wish I was in my kayak right now. The stingrays don't worry me too much. Generally, they only sting when they feel threatened. But the shark is getting more and more curious. Look, it's getting closer. Suddenly, he comes right at me. Sharks do that sometimes. They swim close by to inspect intruders. It's getting a bit too intense around here. I'd better get back to my kayak. I didn't realize how far I actually went. But finally, I find it. The day goes by, and still nothing. But at least I feel a little better in my kayak. It's super shallow here. I can see all the barracuda chasing my lure, but it won't take it. I don't know what's going on. Maybe the water's too cold. It was a cold front last night, so maybe that's it. Fish on. That's a big barracuda. Oh no, it's a shark. It's a shark. It's a lemon shark. It's not you I wanted to catch. It's a small lemon shark, but man, it fights hard. And it's pulling me to deeper water. I can tell you one thing, fighting a shark, even if it's not a big one from a kayak, not easy. It's fighting so hard, I wouldn't be surprised if it tips me over. Why did you have to take that bait, buddy? What an idea, you had to take that lure. I just wanted to catch a barracuda. I thought it was a monster barracuda at first. And now it's a shark. Bye, buddy. All right. It wasn't the barracuda I wanted, but the fight with that shark was pretty intense. It's getting late, though, and tomorrow, I have to go farther on the flats to hopefully catch the monster barracuda I'm after. Today, I'm meeting up with Doug, a local fisherman who knows where to find monster barracuda. Hey, hey, you gotta be Doug. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Uh, do you think we're gonna get rained on today? I know we're gonna get rained on. <laughs> I know we're gonna get rained on, but... but... The fish don't care, they're wet already, right? Yeah, that's right. All right. Just go give it a shot. All right. Sounds good. Yesterday, I couldn't cover much ground in my kayak, but today, it's a different story. Doug is a guide around here and advocates for the conservation of barracuda and the Keys. And he knows some great spots to find them. All right, let's go get a barracuda. But with that weather, not sure. There's a big storm closing in, and I just hope to catch a monster barracuda before we get hit. We cannot sight fish very well on this, so you're gonna have to cover some, some ground. With no sun, it's gonna be tough spotting barracuda. Any big kudas in here, usually? Maybe between 10 and 15 pounds. Good fish. There's a strike. Here's one. Yep. Strike here in this shell water. It's 
gonna be explosive. Barracudas can live in groups, but in general, the biggest ones hunt alone, and it's those big lone wolves that I'm after. But they're not in this spot. Barracuda mainly hunt by sight. The only problem right now is there's a lot of wind and it's stirring the bottom. So look at the water, it's really, it's really murky and they can't see the bait properly, so that's why we're not catching. But if we find the clear water... With all this murky water, we can't spot the barracudas, which means I'm gonna have to keep casting and hope I find one. Fish on. It's a little guy. Oh, a big barracuda, a big barracuda after it. I had a small barracuda on the line, but then a big barracuda attacked it. Oh, he's got a barracuda in the mouth, man. Oh, man, he had a barracuda. He's got it. He's got oh. it, yeah, he's got it. A big barracuda eating its own, its own kind. How about that? <laughs> oh, my God, that was oh, incredible what just happened. Unbelievable how voracious that fish was, you know, like I had a little barracuda on the line. And all of a sudden, I felt that big weight on my line, and I saw this barracuda come out of the water with the other barracuda in its mouth. You remember what I was telling you? That barracuda have razor sharp teeth? Look at what it did to that small barracuda. And it's also proved that they're cannibals. Almost cut it in half. Now I know for sure that they're big predators in the area. Barracudas can be pretty aggressive, but I think that the cold front has cooled the water, which is making them slower and harder to catch. We were lucky to avoid it this morning, but the big storm has finally caught up to us. Extreme fishing conditions right here. Take this out. Normally this would be bright blue skies with turquoise waters. It's not quite the case today. This is not the first time I've been caught in the storm, but I gotta admit that this one's pretty violent. Plus, it's really cool. There's lightning in the storm, so we should probably get going. Do you think it was going to be this rough today? No. We're going to have to go get over there. I can't hold it there. Doug is just as determined as I am, and he absolutely wants to catch a big barracuda. I'll never give in. So he wants us to make a run and see if we can get away from this storm. About four miles away, we found a break in the clouds. And we're lucky. The waters here are less muddy because these flats are protected by the mangroves. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Right boat side. Oh, no, came off. Oh, it came off. That was beautiful, that hit right both sides. That fish must have been chasing, chasing, and chasing the bait. Thinking, you know, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. And when, when he realized that the bait was gonna escape, boom, that's when he nailed it. There are big barracudas around here. We're staying just ahead of the storm. So I had to make the most of my time here before it catches up and we get hit again. I really want a big barracuda. Fish on. All right, barracuda. It's the biggest barracuda so far, but still not the monster I'm looking for. It's not huge, but man, does it fight. Look at the teeth on that fish. Dagger-like fangs in the front of the mouth to stab their prey and in the back, razor sharp teeth to cut through prey like a blade. Beautiful animal. And those big eyes. Clearly a predator that uses sight to hunt. All right, buddy. Here he goes. There he goes. Good job, buddy. You like this slime? Oh, man. Yeah, it's better. Yeah, I do, actually. It's better than, it's better than no slime at all, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That was really cool, man. Yeah, you did a lot of casting today. You did. You, des you deserved it. I finally caught a barracuda, but it was far from the monster I'm after. 
The weather is still pretty bad, so before going back on the hunt, I'm gonna try to see a barracuda in its own environment. I really want to see a barracuda up close in its natural habitat underwater. And uh, I'm meeting with a diver who actually dives with them and gets uh, super close to them. <laughs> it should be pretty interesting. I'm a little hesitant though. This morning, I had a conversation with Tom Goro, who was snorkeling over a reef when he was violently attacked by a barracuda. Tom! <laughs> How are you? Good. Yeah, so what happened to you that day? I didn't see it happen. The barracuda charged me from the bottom. My daughter was watching and you know she was 15 feet away and she said it just charged from the bottom full speed and just in one bite. You know, she, she thought I was dead. I mean she she really I mean she thought it'd kill me. Really? I mean, it was dabbing the blood off. I said to my daughter, oh no I've lost my finger, you know? You can see that I'm missing the finger my little finger completely. Unbelievable. I, I I told you that barracuda teeth are so so sharp and the proof is right there. So you know what can you do? Hey, Tom, it's really good to talk to you and hear that story, but I'm not sure you're, you're the right type of guy to talk to when, when I'm about to, to die with Barracuda. So, you know, you just want to be really careful and you know, not move suddenly, shall we say. They can be dangerous animals. If they choose to bite you, there's nothing you can do, but they very rarely choose to do so. You've got to be Captain Slate. I am, and you look good, Cyril. Good yeah. to see you. Good to see you, too. Can't wait for you to go out and go diving with us today. Yeah, that'd be nice. Pretty... Gonna, do you think it's, it's possible with that wind blowing? Yeah, it's going to be choppy. It's probably going to be two to four foot, but we'll be able to do it. And we had viz out there in the 20, 25 foot range. Oh, is it? OK, all right. We're diving well, shallow, so it'll be great. And the critters will be there, and we'll have a great time. Critters? What do, what do you mean by well, critters? Well, we're going to have the barracuda. We're going to have the more eels, and hopefully a shark or a ray will show up. All right, nice. Did you ever get hurt? I have, uh, yeah. actually. You know, a cooter came in on me real quick and hit me in the face. In Luckily, the face. took my mask off, cut it in half. Oh, you can see what his teeth did. God. Really? Is that Barracuda that did that? Barracuda, I jerked to the right and probably saved my face. He still hit me so hard with an impact blow that I had to have some surgery inside my cheekbone, but he didn't get me with his teeth, so I don't have a scar. Wow. Very lucky about that. Did have a black eye for about a week and a half and a little blood in my eye. Knocked me out almost, so I was lucky. You were pretty lucky. Yeah, you I was. could have lost the entire face. Yeah, I, I stayed out of the water about two days and didn't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> you don't learn, do you? No, I don't learn. <laughs> Still doing it. Let's All go. right. Let's go dive. Let's go dive. Let's, Let's go keep... dive with Barracuda. I've swam with Barracudas before and never worried about it. But with all the stories I've been hearing, I'm starting to be a little more nervous. We're seven miles offshore and the sea is really rough. But apparently, we're over a reef that is home to some big barracudas. You ready to go, Cyril? Uh, what is it that I need to know about barracudas before I get in the water? Well, if you don't want to be waving your hands in the air, in the water. You want to keep your hands like this, Yeah, just right? like that. Trust me, if he hits my mask and knocks me over, Steve's there. <laughs> <laughs> Steve is an armed forces veteran and a pro diver. It's good to know he'll be watching our backs for sharks and other predators that could be lurking around. <laughs> this guy's wearing a glove. <laughs> Chain mail. Yeah. All right, sir. Let's All go right. do it. Let's go right, do it, man. We're, we're here. here. Okay. The current is very strong down here, and it's really tough moving around. A nurse no shark. It's a good sign. There are big fish down here. Captain Sleet is taking me to the reef where he's already seen monster barracudas. Suddenly, a big moray eel swims towards us. The current pushes me and I almost sit on it. I have to be more careful because it could bite if it feels threatened. The current keeps pushing us towards it and I really don't want to make it angry. A second eel comes out from under the reef. I gotta watch out. More eels are known for giving nasty bites, and I don't know how they'll react to us. But Captain Slate has dived with his eels before, and he's clearly comfortable around them. Still no barracudas. So before we run out of air, we make a move to the other side of the reef. I think I saw a barracuda, right there. I follow it.
but as fast as it appeared, it's gone. And I can't find it again. There's a stingray, but it sees me and takes off in the other direction. While following the barracuda, I strayed away from the group. I gotta find my way back to them. Finally, I find a group, and Steve signals that we go up. We're starting to run short on air. It really was an awesome dive, but I didn't get to see a big barracuda up close like I was hoping. All right. No bites, your hands good? No bites, right. still, my fingers still there. All right, now I understand you want, why you wanted me to keep yeah. my hands like that, because, you yeah, know. They're, they're not going to do much damage here. They can, but it's your fingers where the pressure is. That was a fun dive. That was great. Quite something. You yeah. saw the barracuda? Yeah, yeah, I did. Came yeah, right yeah. By. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he never came close, though. No, never came close. No. He was there. He was there, yeah. yeah. I didn't get close to one, so I'll definitely try again on this trip. But tomorrow, I'm back to fishing. Today, the weather is much better, and the ocean won't be as rough, which means I can travel to a remote spot and hopefully get into some monster barracuda. And to get there, I'm heading out with Captain Cal Kelso. You got a monster. All right, sounds good, man. That would be cool. We're headed towards a group of islands about 20 miles from Key West. It's not always true, but usually, the further you go into the wild, the more likely you are to find some big fish. Here we are, Marquez's Island, South Florida. Beautiful spot. Not to be confused with the Marcus's Islands in the South Pacific in French Polynesia. I've been there and the fishing there was completely crazy. I saw one of the biggest barracudas in my life over there. You guys want to see a big barracuda? That's a big barracuda. Exactly the kind of fish I'd like to catch on this trip. Suddenly, Cal spots a nice barracuda. All right, fish on. All right. Man, it came out of nowhere. At about 10 pounds, this barracuda is not very big, but it's putting up quite a fight for its size. Barracudas around here can more than triple the size. So imagine the fight if I find a real monster. Good thing I got it to the boat. The fish was barely hooked. All right, nice cuda. Beautiful fish. Look at the colors. Look at the... Look at the silver hue on this fish. Beautiful. Beautiful animal. It's just not the monster we want yet. There's got to be bigger barracudas around. So it's time to put this one back. Take it off. Yeah, man. Awesome. Nice work. Good start. Good start. Let's get a monster now. Oh, nice fish. It's a nice barracuda. The biggest I've seen so far on this trip. This spot is insane. Nice scooter. That's a big fish. Big fish. Big cuda. Look at the scar on his back, man. Yeah, he's I'm got a scar. Try. He got bit by something. <laughs> Look at this barracuda. This is getting close to the size of the monster I'm looking for. That's a bite mark there. See on the belly and on the on the back here. Is that yeah. a shark? I'm even wondering if I it's a know. shark. It almost looks. You know, it's got a little bit of a curve to it, but yeah. it's, it's, it's such... If it's a barracuda, it's huge, man. Slashed it, yeah. If it was a barracuda that bit this guy, I want to catch it. All right, bye-bye. All right, man. Awesome. Nice fish. Thank nice. you very much. Good nice work. spot, man. Good work. Good spot. We keep casting, but nothing. To catch a real monster, I think I should give it a shot with a live bait. But for that, we have to first catch the bait. And Cal gets on it right away. All right, Cal, get up here. He's got a little Jack Ravel, a really good bait. Good job, man. Now, let's see if the big barracuda will take it. Oh. Here we go, here we go. 
It's a barracuda. I can tell you one thing. It's a big one. You see him yet? No, I haven't seen him yet. But I can, I can swear it moves like a shark. Is it, is it a shark? Yeah, it is a shark. It's a lemon. We gotta release the shark. But suddenly, it takes off towards the mangroves. I gotta stop it, or it might break off. And I don't want to leave a hook in the shark's mouth. All right, got him. If it wasn't that barracuda you're looking for, but he's a. He's a really, really good looking fish. Yeah, it's a nice shark. I could tell almost right away that it was not a barracuda because a barracuda goes for straight runs. It might zigzag a little bit, but usually it's a fast, powerful run. But the shark moves totally differently. Big movements, big head shakes, and that's exactly what I felt. I love sharks, and I want to make sure it's in good condition before I release it. That means I'm going to have to get close to it to remove the hook and help it swim away. All right, I've got a shallow spot here. I'm going to be able to get in the water and and hug the shark to let it go. The shark makes another run. It's still very fresh. The fight isn't over yet, and I need to end it before I can get close enough to remove the hook. Careful, man. You don't have to turn. Watch your legs. Even if it's shallow around here, this shark can still swim around easily. I don't take my eyes off it, because it could turn around in a split second and bite me. Can you bring me the pliers, please? I don't want to get my jeans wet. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> I don't want to get my jeans wet. <laughs> so he throws me a de-hooker, which I definitely need to release a shark this size. All right, it's out. This shark is a little tired. I have to help it recover before releasing it. He's in pretty good shape. All right, man. All right. Got him. Awesome. Hey, there was no way I was going to leave a hook in that fish's mouth. No, no, it was too close. We got to get him when we can. Get <laughs> the hook. It's totally bent. <laughs> it's bent out. It's bent out. <laughs> There's so much power. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that was awesome. That was cool. <laughs> but that was not a barracuda. That was though. a barracuda that we thought. Tomorrow, we'll head back out again to take another shot at catching a monster barracuda. But it looks like it's not going to happen today. A bad storm is hitting the entire east coast of Florida, so I don't think I can keep fishing around here. It's not the best of news, but I've got a plan to get another shot at catching a big barracuda. I'm heading to the Gulf Coast to meet a friend in Everglades City. Derek is a commercial crab fisherman, but he also knows some good spots for barracuda. And the last time we fished together... That's a big barracuda! We saw some huge fish, even bull sharks. <clears throat> Look at this bull. Man, there's some big fish out of here. Well, you don't want to fall overboard here. No. Be dead. They'll eat you. But this time, it's not a shark I want. So I just hope a barracuda that takes my bait before a shark does. The weather gets better as I drive across the Everglades towards the Gulf of Mexico. I know the monster barracudas out there, and hopefully, Derek and I find him at his spot. Hey, Derek. How you doing, man? Good. How you been? Pretty good. You? You good. Good Real to good. see you, man. You, you want to go try to get a big barracuda? Yeah, for sure. Are they out there? Yeah, there's some big ones out there. You know there. some spots, huh? Yes, sir. All right, cool, man. All right, buddy. Let's do it. Yes, sir. Where am I fishing from on this boat? On the bow. Bow, all right. Because <laughs> there's no casting around here. No, no, it'd be hard to cast back there. All right, here we go with my buddy Derek. Yes, sir. All right, man. Let's go get that big cuda. Woo! <laughs> Be out about 25 miles. Got to be some fish out there. Yeah, there usually is. We're heading to a tower about 25 miles offshore. A metal structure in the open ocean acts as an artificial reef and attracts all kinds of sea life, including big predators like barracuda. The tower also emits a loud signal every 30 seconds. Yet, he doesn't seem to bother the fish. I've never seen so many barracudas in one spot. Look at that. Man, there's, there's hundreds. There must be a monster down there. We just got to find it. I guarantee there's 40 in that wad. That's a monster right there. That's the biggest of them all. Man, you got the spot again. There's monsters out of here. But before catching a barracuda, I got to catch some bait. 
I've never seen anything like this. We're surrounded by about 50 barracudas. Luckily, the structure attracts plenty of bait fish. It shouldn't be too hard catching one. All right, fish on. This fish is called a sheep's head. You want to see something funny about it? Look at the teeth. It's got human-like teeth. <laughs> All right, buddy. This fish is lucky. It's not a good barracuda bait. That's the kind of bait we want. All right, that's money right there. We got a blue runner, the perfect bait. So now it's time for a monster barracuda. I can't believe it. This spot is filled with barracudas, but I can't catch one. It's crazy. Hey man, this is a crab fishing boat, but you know what I feel right now? I feel like a crab in a cage. <laughs> Here we go. Fish on, fish on. He took it. There was a fish on, man. Damn! All right, he's on, he's on, he's back on. Ah. Yeah, don't blame it on my boat. That was your mess. <laughs> man, when I tell you this barracuda, there was a barracuda attack. Let me see. You gotta let him eat it. I did let him eat it, I but... I can't tell. Zero, I can put you on him, but I can't catch him for you. <laughs> There's nothing more frustrating for a fisherman than being around a school of fish, and you can't catch him. Hey, Cyril, how does it feel to be trapped in my cave? I can't cast. Get me out of this cage! <laughs> Damn monkey, I thought he was half monkey. We've been slow trolling for the last two hours. The barracuda is still there, but it won't bite. I can't understand it. <laughs> it's driving me insane. And now, the day's coming to an end. Does that sound kill you, or what? It's like a countdown to sunset. This is bull. What do you think the fish are not eating? The water temperature? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man, you took me out here for the sunset, right? There was no fishing involved. You didn't know this was a sunset tour? <laughs> that is pretty luck. That's cool. I don't care. <laughs> we tried. Yeah. <laughs> we tried everything. I don't well, know it's just we, fishing. We done what we can do. It, it's yeah. just fishing. That's just fishing. I still haven't caught the huge barracuda I'm looking for. So I'm back on the East Coast. And before I take one last shot at catching a monster fish, I want to hit a place where I'm guaranteed to see a big barracuda. This morning, I'm heading to the Key West Aquarium, where I should be able to swim with barracudas. It's time to finally see a big one up close. Bill? Sir? Yes. Nice to meet you. Hey, you ready to go check out some barracuda? For sure, that's what, I, right. that's what I came for. This is our Atlantic Shores exhibit with our uh, tarpon, our jacks, and of course, uh, the barracuda. So how many barracuda do you have in here? Uh, currently, we have two barracuda in this two? enclosure, yes. Um, really can't go any more than that. They can be kind of territorial and act aggressively to each other. Really? Uh, a lot of battle wounds that uh, we would then have to medicate. Wow. Everything about that fish is designed to catch and kill other fish. They don't like grass. No, it's not a herbivore. <laughs> I came here to swim with barracudas. And even though Bill has just confirmed all my concerns about these fish, I still want to see them up close. Barracudas hunt more by sight than smell, and most reported attacks happen in, in, in murky water, where the barracuda can fuse the flashy object on a diver or a snorkeler for a bait fish escaping, and that's why they got attacked. But in this case, the water is clear, so in theory, it should be fine. Now that I'm about to get in the water, I can't stop thinking about all the stories I've heard. I mean, he's gonna die on the, the ride in. One bike, you can see that I'm missing a finger. All right, let's get in the water. Somewhere in here are two barracudas, and I'm just not sure how they're gonna react to my presence. But at the moment, I can't see either of them. And I gotta say, that's making me a little nervous. Barracudas can swim over 35 miles an hour, 
and they could cross this pool in a split second. In other words, there's not much I could do to avoid them. Suddenly, the smaller barracuda appears, and it's headed straight towards me. It turns at the last second, but it keeps staring at me the whole time. I want to try to get as close as possible. But it backs off. And I realize it's because the big barracuda has decided to come out and size me up. It checks me out. And I wish I knew what it's thinking. It stays close, so I try to get even closer. It swims around me and then stares me down. I'm finally face to face with a big barracuda and I'm really curious to see how close I can get. Now I know it's a curious fish, and not just an aggressive predator. What a beautiful animal. That was really scary at first, you know, I was swimming and I, actually the barracuda was coming close to me. And you see those, those this mouth full of teeth. So I was keeping my hands close to my body, same thing for my feet. I was like, I'm not sure what the reaction of the fish is gonna be, but they're more curious than anything. They just come and check you out. I ended up facing a big barracuda, and it was a great moment. So now, it's time to go back out and try to catch a monster. But I can't stop thinking about Parker and his ordeal with the Barracuda. Wow. So at the same time, maybe I can also help him overcome his own fear of the fish. Parker hasn't seen a Barracuda since his accident. So I'm taking him fishing with an old pal, Joe Saba. How you doing, Joe? Good morning. Again. And his first mate, Kit. How you doing, man? This is Parker nice and his you. dad, Parker. Irwin. Erwin? Erwin, nice to meet you guys. Parker is the guy who was telling you that got bit by the barracuda? Oh man, what a story. That's, that's crazy. Oh, yeah, I see the scar, man. They don't believe you right now. They're like, yeah, whatever. Oh man. Holy cow. <laughs> wow. That's pretty serious. Huh? Pretty serious yeah. scar. I said, let's go catch a barracuda, man. Here we go. So Parker, how do you feel about catching a barracuda, man? I'm, uh, I'm excited uh, and a little skept skeptical about, about it, but. You haven't caught a barracuda since the incident at all, right? Not since, not since. You have to beat your fears. Catch the fish, don't let it catch you. Not this time. <laughs> we'll catch a big one today, man. We'll go get a big one for sure. I'm pretty sure. Wow. Parker, he hasn't caught a barracuda since the time of the accident. Imagine he was telling me that he's a little skeptical about it. Uh, apprehensive, I would, I would be too. But good on him to, uh, to actually face his fears like that. I really hope that Parker and I will catch a monster today. But when we get to the spot, the waves are pretty intense. It's gonna be tricky for Joe and Kid to keep us here long enough to catch anything. Go ahead and drop the anchor. Good job, Captain. Good job saving that one. It's pretty rough out here, but still, Parker's ready to go. So Kate and I start by fishing for some fresh bait, speedos and blue runners. Oh. All right. We need good bait if we're gonna catch a big barracuda. He's on fire. Oh. And pretty soon, Parker goes at it too. Nice bait. Nice over you. the rail, into the tail. All right. Cool. Good job, man. We have all the bait we need. So now, it's time to rig up for some big barracuda. We're definitely in the right spot. The second my bait hits the water, there's a barracuda behind it. So I hand the rod to Parker, and he goes for it. Although, he looks a little apprehensive. You've got this, man. Suddenly, the barracuda goes for Parker's bait. It was a spectacular hit, but maybe a little too similar to the barracuda that hurt Parker. For a first bite, he was definitely intense. Check this out, the barracuda cut that bait in half. Right, that out. Right, right, right. But despite the balance of the first hit and the memories of his accident, Parker keeps fishing. And it pays off. All right. Parker has a big barracuda on the line, and he's in for a fight. It's right there. He's crossing, he's crossing. All right. 
Parker's first barracuda in a long time. It's a powerful fish, and Parker's starting to feel it. You're doing good, man. You're doing great. He needs to get this barracuda out of the water quickly. But the fish isn't going down without a fight. Parker gets it to the surface, and now we gotta bring it into the boat. Parker's caught a barracuda and faced his fears. I've got just one thing left to do. Catch a monster. Now, it's just a matter of finding that lone fish that's out there hunting. Get the fish to the boat, but he dives back down again. Pretty solid fish. Over 20 pounds for sure, no? Yeah. This is the big barracuda I've been looking for, but the fight isn't over yet. This fish is powerful, and it could break up at any moment. I'm going super easy on that fish right now, because I don't want to break up on the leader. It's a pretty thin leader. I bring it to the surface but this fish will fight to the end. Ah, yes! Woo-hoo! <laughs> Woo That's a nice one, Cyril. Good job. Woo! <laughs> That's a lone wolf right there. That's about time you found your lone wolf. That's the lone predator, the lone wolf I was chasing. Here it is. Check out that muscular body. I can barely hold it. And those teeth. Look at the fangs in the front and those razor-sharp teeth in the back there. I came to the Keys to catch a big barracuda and come face to face with one of the most feared predatory fish on the planet. After hearing so many stories of barracuda accidents... Hit me in the face. You see that missing the finger completely. I have to admit, I was a little anxious swimming with him. But finding the monster fish I was after ended up being harder than I thought. Between the weather, the fish that just wouldn't bite. Yeah, don't blame it on my boat. That was your man. And the sharks. I had my work cut out for me, but I kept fishing. And not only did I finally catch the big barracuda I came here for, but I helped Parker overcome his anxiety towards this explosive predator. All right. Hey, Kyle, can you bring me the pliers, please? I don't want to get my jeans wet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I don't want to get my jeans wet. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good excuse. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little toothy in there. Damn monkey, I thought he 